I'm going to fly down to Phillips Field, that's in California, Missouri, California, Missouri, from Mexico. And then from there, I'm going to fly on to a small private strip called Eagle Mount. Eagle Mount uh, hasn't been used in probably three years. We're trying to mow it and get it in shape to have a little fly in a little bit later. So I'm going to go down and check on that runway and see how it's doing. Thought you might enjoy going along. I've done my pre-flight and we've gone through the checklist. We're about ready to do a little run up here. Motor sounds good, feels good. I'm flying my CH-701, a, a Zenith home built. Uh, I built it, uh, it's been about 12 years now that I've been flying it. I've got about 1,200 hours on it. I've really had a blast flying this plane, and I love to get off airport as much as possible. And that's what we're going to do today a little bit. So uh, we'll take off here and uh, head that direction. I'll probably shut the camera off and pick it up again before we get down to Phillips Field. So uh, enjoy the flight. I'm going to take off with runway 6 here at Mexico, Missouri. Mexico traffic, Fairmount Diner 72 of Zulu's departing 06. I'll be headed to the southwest, Mexico. Dynon ZRX, 
as an ADS-CN is great. It's showing me traffic on my screen. It shows me weather. Uh, it's a great little receiver for ADS-CN. I do not run ADS-C out. Uh, I carry a, S a Garmin SL40 uh, radio, but I have no transponder. So I stay out of the uh, uh, Class B and C. I don't have any real need to go there, so I just don't go. I'm also using the Dynon Flight Deck D180. It's been a great instrument. I've had it uh, brand new when I built the plane 12 years ago. And it's working beautifully. It's showing uh, 89, 90 miles an hour or true airspeed. We're showing 98 for ground speed. I've got a little bit of a tailwind. The weather is just fantastic. The clouds are keeping the thermals down. The air is smooth. It's a little bit hazy, but I can still see 50 miles ahead. No problem. Up ahead of us is the Missouri River. We're going to cross that. And we're about 25 miles or so from uh, Phillips Field. So, uh, I thought I would uh, update you a little bit where we are. Talk to you later. Columbia, Boonville areas to my right. I love to fly into the sandbars that are on the river. There's a bunch of them along this strip. Uh, normally they're above water. Right now they're six to ten feet below water. The river's pretty full. I haven't been able to go to the sandbars this year so far, but in years past I've had a blast. I've even flown in and camped out on the sandbars. Venus builds a fantastic kit, and uh, this plane will go just about anywhere. All you need is a short area to land on, fairly smooth, and you can set her down. 701 is very spunky. It's got a lot of torque. It flies beautifully. Or so does my autopilot. It does all right. But uh, I wish I was flying to a sandbar today. But I just don't see any up out there. Oh well. Maybe later in the year or next year. Just be sure nobody's on the strip. Next to Windsock. I'm flying over some beautiful country. Little town of California, Missouri is right in front of me. The airstrip is right down off my off the nose to the left. We'll be coming in from the north. Uh, there is, I believe, a slight southerly wind today. We'll check the wind sock, see what it says. As you'll notice, we do drop in way down amongst the trees. I believe you can see the runway now in front of us. Looks like the wind sucks pretty, pretty limp today. We'll go around and land from the north.
Hill is experimental batting 72. Alpha Zulu is left downwind for the uh, 1 8. Phillips Field. Correction. Experimental batter 72. Alpha Zulu is left downwind for 3 6. Phillips Field. Uh, don't you guys listen to what I'm saying? I don't know where. I always get turned around here. We're actually landing from the north to the south. So it'll be 1A. Phillips Field, Experimental 2 Alpha Zulu is turning final. 1A, Phillips Field. I've got three notches of flaps. I'm on my second one right now. I think we'll leave it right there. This is a great little facility, and I love grass. Stop at Phillips Field, and we'll be off on headed toward uh, Lake of the Ozarks to uh, Eagle Mount Airport. Experimental 2 Alpha Zulu is back taxi in 1 8, Phillips Field.
do a quick run up. That looks good. Okay, you ready? you guys know what we're doing. We're going to fly by this uh, Eagle Mount airstrip. I, I told you before, it is a private airstrip uh, strip, and uh, we've been working on it now for a few weeks, trying to get it in shape for a possible fly-in uh, camp out. Three, three, five, touch, go. It hadn't been mowed two or three years, and uh, so we've been working on it quite a bit. Hopefully, about the middle of July, we'll be able to open it up and, and uh, have a fly-in if the weather cooperates with us. And that's what I'm doing. I'm headed down here just to see how the field is. It hasn't been maintained for a few years, so uh, I want to be sure it's still doable. Uh, we have been mowing it quite a bit, and we'll continue to mow it. But we'll see what it's like. You guys will get a good look at it, a, a preview of it. When we get down here, I'm going to try to walk on the field. And uh, basically in a stole machine, what you're doing is uh, setting your main gear down. See how rough it feels, see if it's smooth. Uh, just see what the conditions are. If you feel good about it, go ahead and set your nose gear down. If you don't, you can give it gas to take off. So we're going to come down here. We're going to walk on the field a little bit. Hopefully we'll go ahead and land and, and take a look at the place. If you'll look ahead of us, you'll see a lot of forest. There's a lot of uh, national forest in southern Missouri. And we're just now coming into some of it, looks like. From now on, we'll be over trees or water. We're just passing the small town of uh, Versailles, Missouri. And no, it's not pronounced Versailles. It's pronounced for sales. We've got winds uh, about 10 mile an hour from uh, about zero one zero up here. Down on the ground, I'm looking at some smoke. It looks like we've got a little bit of a breeze out of the southeast. And that's great because we've got a a 1432 runway down here, so we'll come in on 14 and uh, see what the field looks like, feels like. I, I flies 
just telling me now that we're coming into the Truman uh, MOA. If you're VFR, you can fly into an MOA. You do have to keep a lookout. Whiteman Air Force Base is off to our right. Oh, about 50 miles over there, or 60. I can see the Lake of the Ozarks over here and ahead of us. Hopefully you can too. It stretches for, uh, I think it's 125 miles, maybe more. It's got thousands of miles of shoreline. I do appreciate this guy burning brush down here so I can see which way the wind's blowing. What a great day for flying. Well, the airstrip is right in front of us. I doubt you can see it because it's uh, going that way. We'll swing around and see if we can walk on one four. See how it feels. We'll do a low pass over the field first, then we'll swing back around and see about touching down. She looks doable.
Wars off, set uh, 335, touch and go, 36, wars off, clear. There's a nice little fishing resort right here by the airstrip. Okay, we're coming in with full flaps, we'll come in slow, we'll touch down, see what it feels like, things will happen pretty fast. I may just go ahead and set it down or just take off, don't know which. Probably set it down. That's the idea. I'm sure you heard it's it's pretty rough, but it's getting better. We've done a lot of work around here in the last few weeks. Get out and walk around a little bit.
Okay, I think we're recording. Well, that's where I came in from. That's where I landed. That's looking southeast on the field. It's about 2,500 feet long, and uh, we initially cut it to 50 feet wide, but we're gonna trim that down to about 30 feet wide. It looks like it's already needing mowing again. That's all right, we'll get it. Got a little flagpole over here in a camping area. Got road that runs all the way around the runway to keep traffic off the runway. This is a proposed air park and uh, hopefully someday they'll, they'll get it going. A few people have bought lots here. There are some utilities here and uh, it'll be a pretty nice place someday and it's already nice. It's great for, for a little fly-in camp out. Uh, it will be primitive there will be no utilities here, so uh, if we do have this, just keep that in mind that there are no utilities. There is that little uh, resort, that fishing resort I was telling you about. It's about, oh, it's probably a mile walk from here. It's not bad walk at all, walking over to the resort. But coming back, you're going to come up a really steep hill. So keep that in mind also. All right. Well, I think we'll call it and we'll go ahead and get back in the plane and, and uh, get it turned around and we'll take off again. It appears this is just about where I touched down. We're not going to go to the end of the runway. We're going to take off from here. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do it. Definitely want to use your short and soft field techniques while landing and taking off on that runway. I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to head back to Mexico and I'll probably talk to you when we get there if the batteries hold out in the camera. Oh,
traffic two minutes to the world famous Falcon Sky Average over Kansas City at North Dark Airport. I tell you what, why don't I fly by the runway again just to give you a better overview of what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it from one of the cameras.
I sure enjoyed the trip. I hope you did too. Mexico traffic, Spearmount 9 or 7, 2 Alpha Zulu, left downwind 1 8, Mexico. Mexico traffic, square mill 2 Alpha Zulu is turning final, 1-8 Mexico. We made it back. Back at the home of Zenith Aircraft. Again. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Uh, don't forget, we got the uh, Zenith Open Hangar in uh, September. If you can make it, come on over. We'll see you later. Bye.